Okay, we're going to start a brand new project in BlueJay, and we're going to call this the Remote Control Project. And we're going to create a single interface now. We're not building a class now, we're building an interface, but you still press the new class button, but here you want to click interface instead of having it build a class. And we're going to call this uh, Remote control. You can see that Blue Jay put the little interface moniker up here instead of class. And let's see what that actually means when we open it up. So here, this is an interface instead of being a class. So instead of saying public class remote control, it says public interface. And I want you to see here something unusual that I don't think we've seen before in this class. Instead of having code after the method, we have a semicolon after the method. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of this thing. I'm going to call this the reset method. And this will be the method that's going to run when the remote control first powers up. So when it powers up and someone turns it on, this will be the method that's run. So I'm going to put a comment to that effect. Now, looking at the remote control, there might be a move cursor right button, move right, something like that. And so now this is, now remember, we're the engineers in the Chinese remote control company, and we're putting together this interface document here. The engineers at Promethean, those are our customers. So they pay us money, we give them hardware, and we also give them this interface document. It is in the interests of both groups of engineers to make this work as painlessly as possible. So what we're going to do as the engineering company in China at the remote control location is, we're going to create a whole bunch of these. There could be dozens, there could be hundreds of these little stubs that basically define all the functionality that the remote control ha has to be able to do. But now you can see, I think, the advantages of this approach as opposed to having a bunch of lawyers draft the legal document, right? And so what's going to happen after we get all these done, and there'll probably be a similar one for moving the cursor left and up and... So there's probably going to be uh, a lot of these. And then there's going to be other buttons on the remote control. And keep in mind, these stubs that I have here, they're not just for the buttons. So for example, this method right here, this one is not really related to a button. It's just related to the fact that the device is turning on or something maybe has gone wrong and they've reset the device or whatever. A lot of these methods will certainly be related to the buttons, but there could be other methods here also that are stubs. Now, I want you to notice something. Technically speaking, there's no code in this document. Do you see that? The reason that there's no code in this document is that the remote control that's being built by the Chinese company, it's going to serve a different device in its lifetime. In other words, one remote control might be being built for the Promethean company. That same remote control might be sold to some other company to control an air conditioner. So the same remote control, because it's got the right configuration of buttons, might be useful for a completely different device. And that's the reason why these methods don't have any code in them, because if you're trying to control a Promethean board, the code that you're going to put in here for each of these methods is going to be completely different than the code you need to run an air conditioner. And so what's happening now is that the remote control company is going to fill out this document, and then they're going to save this so that any time a customer comes along that needs to use that particular brand of remote control, they can reach into their handy-dandy file of interfaces and say, oh, you want model number 47GA3, and this is the interface for 47GA3. And then before the engineers from Promethean have even left China to go back to Seattle, they give them this interface. And then the engineers from Seattle, the Promethean engineers, they happily take this interface and they go back. Now, it might be entirely possible that the engineers at Seattle don't understand what one or more of these methods are supposed to do, but at least they know they have to write it. And furthermore, can there be any misunderstanding about the type of information that's going to be returned by the method or the number of parameters that are needed by the method or the data types of the parameters? Can there be any possible misunderstanding between the engineers on those issues? No, they cannot. Why not? We're using the compiler to enforce the interface rules. And this is a great thing because the compiler just doesn't make mistakes like the humans do. And so they're able to guarantee. Now, is it possible that one of the engineers at the Promethean company still puts bugs in here or maybe has a misunderstanding of what the method is about to do and doesn't quite get the right thing? That's still possible. But what I want you to understand is that 90% of the issues can be resolved by writing a good interface like this.
Okay, we can get most of the issues out of the way. There's still always going to be a few issues. It's an engineering project. There are going to be issues. But here, we're using the compiler to solve and reduce the barriers that we discussed between those two companies, the time barrier, the language barrier, the culture barrier. We're, we're getting rid of a lot of that stuff here by using the compiler to solve the problem. So now, look at this thing. Now, let's say that we are the engineers at the Promethean company. So let's say we're going to write a Java class now for our remote control. So what will we call that class? Let's call it Promethean RC for Promethean Remote Control. You can see that the Promethean Remote Control. Now, if this had been a class and we were going to extend this class and inherit from it, we would put in here extends remote control. But it's not a class. It's an interface. So we're not going to use extends. So we're going to use a different keyword. Does anybody know what keyword we're going to use? OK, Ms. Ria. We're going to use implements. And now you can see it's complaining. What's it complaining about? Compiler's complaining. We didn't write any of the methods. When will the complaining stop? When we create all the methods that are listed in here. So we have to implement all these methods. Question. Could we also implement other methods that are not part of the interface in here? What do you think, Mr. Jeremy? Absolutely, because we may have some special stuff that we do for our Promethean boards. So you can see here that when we implement an interface, we have to do all these methods, but we could also have some of our own. So that's why interfaces are so incredibly useful. Now, let me make a couple of other notes about this interface. The first is that I think I mentioned to you at the beginning of the year, Java is a single inheritance language. What that means is that if I were to extend a class here like this, now you can see that this class in extends or inherits from Pro, but also implements remote control. Now, I mentioned to you that you can only inherit from one class in Java. Promethean RC inherits from Pro, and if Pro doesn't inherit from anything else, what does it by default inherit from? Inherits from the object class. The point is that because Java is a single inheritance language, the inheritance hierarchy is linear, right? It's got one parent, that class has got one parent, that class has got one parent until you get to the object class, which is the super grandparent of them all. However, in Java, you can implement as many interfaces as you want. So therefore, in addition to implementing this remote control, if you this class that you're writing also happens to do work that's supported by some other device or whatever, all you do is you put a comma here and you can put it here some other interface like IF2, maybe that's some other interface, so we don't know. And you can if you have another one, you can put that in here too, like this. So even though you're limited to only inheriting from one class, you can implement as many interfaces as you want. 